Hello folks, Librarian Matthew Smith here. Welcome to another of my database primers. Today we're going to be talking about a key social work database, Social Care Online. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. Now with all of my videos, I always start off in a search engine so that they are as easy to follow as possible. All I'm going to do to start with is look for Social Work Lib Guide. UEA and that will hopefully bring up results that look something like this. So we'll click on this top option here, UEA Library Social Work and it is the quick start guide basically for social work here from the library. If you've already got a link for this feel free to skip the first searching page. Now from here we're going to jump into our list of databases which is a list of everything we have access to here at UEA. We're looking for Social Care Online today, so we want to start with the S. Unsurprisingly, we then get only databases beginning with S, and we'll scroll down to find Social Care Online. So if I click through, this is Social Care Online. We're presented immediately with a basic search box, but we are definitely not doing basic searching today. We always want to look for the advanced search, and it's not different here. So if I click on advanced search, what I'll actually find is that Social Care Online is a little bit different to a lot of other databases you might use. In this case, to access the advanced search, you actually have to sign up to the database. Now that doesn't mean paying for anything, it doesn't mean committing yourself to anything. All it means is rather than going straight for the login, you'll need to go to the sign up today option just beneath those and fill in a few details. Now this is like signing up for anything online. You don't have to use your UEA login. You don't have to use the email or password that you use with us. It doesn't even matter if the um, Social Care Online knows you, you're connected to us at all. All you need to do, fill your details in, confirm it, your, your email, and then come back to the login page. So I already have, let's just agree to this. I already have a login. So let me just pop my details in and hope that I can remember this. So pop my details in, click login, and we come through to the advanced search. Now, if you've used the library catalog and it's advanced search, this is gonna be pretty straightforward for you, hopefully. The main difference here is that on the advanced search of the catalog, you see three boxes by default. Here, you just see one, but you do have the option to add more in. In terms of setting out our search, actually, it's going to be exactly the same as the library catalogue. So we will take our topic, what we're looking for papers on, and then we will pull out the key ideas from within that and map them to each of our search boxes. So we need an example. I'm going to say, let's look for papers around adopted children who are exposed to domestic violence of some description. Now in the catalogue, what you might often do is start your search by saying something like social work or social care. You don't need to do that here. Social Care Online is specifically for papers around social care and social work. So you don't need to specify that that's your area. In the catalogue, loads of other people's stuff we need to focus in on our area. But here, we do not need that. So we can go straight to thinking about the key ideas of the question. Now I said adopted children, so if I click into my top box and if I just type adopted, I'm not going to put children just yet because actually the majority will probably be adopted children, but we'll see if we need that. In the second box, I will add the term violence. Really, really simple. Now like the catalogue, what you will need to do in each box is specify any alternative terms you will accept. So what we've got so far is the term adopted and, because you've got the drop down here, pre-selected to and, and also violence. So any paper with adopted and violence in will come up. But what if we had a paper that talked about abuse? Okay, that we'd probably want to see. So what we'll do within the box where we've got violence, we'll say violence or abuse. So just like on the catalogue, we have and between boxes and we have or within boxes. The other thing we might want to do when we've got something like adopted is also have adopt, for example. Now, the nice thing here is that 
both of these terms start with the same word, basically, adopt. So rather than type this in twice, what I can actually do is put adopt and then use an asterisk. That's what we call truncation. So what that will do is find any papers with the word adopt or any word, any papers with the word that starts adopt and then ends in a different variation. So adopt, adopting, adopted, any of those. Now it might be I want to set up a more sophisticated search, use additional boxes. In this case, I'm going to keep it simple. The only other thing I might want to consider is whether I want to limit which fields are searched. So by default, you'll see we're searching in all the fields, but we might say, actually, I want the term adopted or any of the variations in maybe just the title. Uh, where have we got? Have we got an abstract here? Yeah, we've got an abstract option, things like that. You'll also see these exact fields. I wouldn't worry too much about those. If you're looking at a more sophisticated search, we might build these in, but I would stick with just the options at the top for the most part. But with this, I'm going to leave it as all fields because Social Care Online actually is a database without a huge amount of data compared to many of the other places you'll be searching. So I think it has around 150,000 records, which is lots. But when you think about the millions and billions that you might be searching in other places, that's relatively small. So we'll keep the search simple. We'll see how many we get to start with. OK, so it's given us 602. That might mean that in actual fact, we want to think a bit more specifically about what we're looking for, which may mean adding on an extra field, or it may mean using the drop downs to focus in a little bit. So for the sake of ease, I'm just going to say, give me any papers with the term adopt in the title and violence or abuse also in the title. And that's given me just 50 papers. Now, when you see your papers, you will be able to click through to any of these to read a little more about the paper. And if you want to access the full text, having read the abstract, you'll see that there is a link option which should push you through to the journal homepage where you can access that particular article. Now, in this case, it looks like I'm going to have to search for the title again, but that shouldn't be a problem. It's worth noting, though, that you may find things on Social Care Online that we don't have access to. If that's the case, but they look really good, really useful, what I'd encourage you to do is come back to the Social Work Library Guide and you will find a request an article link over on the left hand side. So this is the first page we looked up on the search engine. You can request an article and this is where you will fill in the details and we will go off and try and get hold of a copy of it for you. So if you hit anything you can't get access to, that's the thing to do. Now, if I come back to my list of results, while you might want to just work through them and look at individual articles at a time, you might also want to export your results into something like a reference manager, maybe an Excel spreadsheet, however you might want to work with it en masse. This is particularly useful when you're doing something like a literature review where you're going to do a more formal screening process. So you're not just going to cherry pick the papers that look good, but you're going to take everything that comes back and then sift it based on your own criteria. Now, when you do want to export everything, you'll see that there's a handy option at the top here. And what I can do is click onto this and it will start the export options. Now, if I want to select, I can do that on individual lines or just to take everything, I click select all. I'm then able to pick the type of file I want to export. Now, you will probably want one of the top two options. CSV will be an Excel spreadsheet effectively or RIS, RIS, will be used for things like EndNote or RefWorks or Zotero, reference managers, Mendeley is another option you might have come across. So if you're wanting to export everything to Excel, you pick CSV. If you're wanting to export everything to something like EndNote or another reference manager, you select RIS and then you just click the export selected and that will trigger a download for you. So I won't go through that process myself because I don't actually need all 50 of these references, but that's how you do it if you did need them. And although it doesn't mention it here, you'll be able to export batches of up to 500 at a time. Now, most times you probably will have put a search together that's a bit more specific than 500 papers coming back. But if you hit that limit, you just want to export the first 500, 
then move on to any papers that remain. The other thing you could choose to do is save your search. So when we talk about saving our search, we're talking about these terms at the top, effectively. So if you'd set up a more complex search, something that you couldn't easily save by just taking a picture, it would be a lot of manual keyword, uh, a lot of manually entering it back when you came back to do it. What you can do instead is you can save your search within social work, uh, social care online. So here, what I could say is example search one, I give it a name. Now I am able to save it to different research groups, if a uh, search group, sorry, if I've already created them. I don't tend to do that. And for most of you, you probably won't be doing this enough to need to do that. So if I just say example search one, save search, what you'll find is that you then have a tab at the top here, which if you flick over to, you'll see your search in there. So these are previous searches that I've obviously run as examples. If I came back to this, so when I'm in the advanced search, you'll see you have these tabs here at all points, and I should probably flag the search tips one as well. This will help you if you get stuck, if this video hasn't explained anything clearly enough, or if you want to just be refreshed without coming back to find the video. Search tips are useful, but we were looking at saved searches. So save searches, if I want to bring back one I've worked on previously, so let's say I take the human trafficking option at the top, what I can do is I can tick the box here, and then there is an action menu at the bottom, and I will just say rerun search. Click go, and it should do that for me. That doesn't look very successful, does it? What's gone wrong there? Did I need to do that? Okay, hang on a minute, let's come back. Let's see if it will let us just rerun the one we've saved. I wonder if the other one has just been sat there too long. Okay, so that's worked as I'd expected it to, where we'd get the results at the bottom. It may be that this first human trafficking one, actually there are too many results. So you see that there's over 5,000 last time I ran it. Let's just try again. So it might just be that it fell over there or that it was taking a minute. I'll leave it loading. But that's how you rerun your searches if you've saved them. Now, I think that's probably all you're going to need to get started on Social Care Online. I won't keep you any longer because I'm sure you are eager to jump in and do your searching yourself. But of course, if you get stuck, do check in with me. You can find my details on the first page we visited, the Library Guide for Social Work. They're just down here on the bottom right hand side. So happy searching. If you need any help, do let me know. Bye-bye.